Boom, bosh, smack, then a bitch. Hey, man, say, hey, look. When these come out, I'm about smack, then. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, uh, nah, shout out all my new subscribers, man. I, I really fuck with y'all, gang. You feel me? Y'all family over here, y'all gang over here, y'all gang them, alright? Um, no, I'm fucking with y'all, so uh, I appreciate everybody liking the videos, man. Everybody supporting me, you feel me? I really rock with y'all, like, like for real, like 1090 Jake, man. You rocking with me, and I'm rocking with you, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, we got a different little video, man. This this something I've actually been wondering my damn self, you get me? But, uh, y'all probably can't see the title, but it says, Why Rappers Are Really Scared of Sauce Walker. And I, 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 I be wondering that too. Like, why y'all scared of Solace, man? That's one of my favorite rappers. That's one of my top fives, you feel me? So we finna find out why these niggas scared of Sauce Walker, man. For real. All right. Ooh -wee. in the world of hip-hop have proven that some of the gangster lyrics are true, after all. And one of the rappers notorious for his aggressive behavior is Sauce Walker himself. <laughs> Let's look at why rappers are scared of well, Sauce Walker. Sauce Walker fucking... Beer going on right now, that beer do not connect. Hmm? Do Don't wait be on afraid it. to interact with us. Subscribe and hit the notification button to be notified when we upload more content. Don't forget. Uh, that go for me. You can do him too, but that go for me. Subscribe, hit that yeah. Uh huh. Be yeah. Leave a like and comment below. Leave also, a like and comment below. Also, feel free to suggest yeah. any type of videos you would like to see on this channel. Thanks. Sauce Walker versus Future. One of the reasons why Sauce Walker is so widely feared is the number of feuds he's had with rappers. And no, we don't mean underground rappers. Sauce Walker somehow manages to beef with all the major rappers, and of them is Atlanta rapper Future. Diss tracks are a common way rappers come after one another and this is exactly how sauce walker targeted me. future he released a track in his drip god project calling out future's famous track mask on mask oh yeah i do yeah what I is do. a beautiful woman like you doing in a place like I think this I do it, baby. it is so much better now <laughs> I think I, I think I remember. Mask On was one of the most famous hip-hop tracks of 2017. The catchy tune, coupled with the minimal lyrics, caught on a lot of people. But one person that wasn't happy was Sauce Waka. He seemed to have a problem, particularly with Future's lyrics, talking about drugs and gun violence. Sauce Waka released his diss track and called Future out for not actually having all of those experiences, and rapping about them anyway. He raps about his own struggles with gay life, looting, and shooting. Sauce Waka has had a particularly rough life with a professional athlete father and a drug addict mother. These life experiences also reflect on Waka's lyrics, who raps about more unique things than most other Houston rappers. This is why lyrics like the ones on Future's Mask On seem more legitimate coming from someone like Sauce Waka. Sauce Waka versus Young Thug. One of the biggest feuds Sauce... Now this one right here, I fucks with Thug, I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I fucks with Thug, fool. But when it came to when it came to saw, I was very disappointed in Thugger, and Thugger Thugger motherfucker. I was very disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. Like I, I actually followed it, and I'm not. I don't want neither one of them to like. Even I don't want them to shoot it out of nothing. I did kind of want to see them punch it out though, cause they was talking spicy. Come on, they was pulling up in each other's states and shit. And Sauce Walker was really, you feel me? He was really trying to. See, I don't think Sauce Walker no bitch, you feel me? I don't think nobody over there is. Like, if y'all ain't see Rizzo Rizzo fall Maxo Cream, big ass? What the fuck? But uh, I was disappointed at the fool. I felt like he, he, he was ducking Sauce, like he's low-key scared of fool has pulled himself into is his never-ending beef with what started with Sauce Waka talking digs at Young Thug for using the word slime in his music, even though Thug didn't come up with it himself. This wasn't even the first time Sauce Waka had a problem with a rapper for not being original and copying his style. He also took to social media to troll Thugger for his weak yeah, boxing Thugger. skills in a video, in which Young Thug is seen preparing for a fight with rapper YFN Lucy. Within the same day, Young Thug took <laughs> the time to respond 
found on Instagram, Lucci, where he nigga. says he'll slap both Sauce Walker and YFN Lucy. The very next day, Sauce nigga, Walker Lucci, didn't hold back bro. and launched into a huge homophobic rant against Young Thug in an Instagram post. He called Young Thug homophobic slurs for wearing a dress for the Jeffrey album cover. He also said that Young Thug could never reach him because he's just not man enough. In a video, Sauce Walker also says that Young <laughs> Thug borrows his girlfriend Jerrica Carly's clothes and simply pays her to pretend <laughs> to be his girlfriend in order to hide his real sexuality. Yes, the beat went on and on, and shit. neither Young it's Thug like... nor Sauce Walker were ever ready to surrender. Young Thug, shut your bitch ass up before I start talking about you. <laughs> he better play that clip, fool. If he don't, I uh, dropped the ball. <laughs> even went down to Houston, Texas and threatened to beat Sauce Walker up. Sauce Walker responded with a huge rant about Young Thug actually doing it and meeting him for a one-on-one. -on -one. It can be said that the feud only cooled down due to the passing of time, since the rappers always had something to say after being targeted by the other. However, Sauce Walker seemed to have the upper hand. He was calling out Young Thug so smartly and so viciously that the fans were absolutely shook. He didn't let go of even a single chance to roast Young Thug and brutally destroyed him. His words and his actions are something that have taught every other rapper a lesson to never mess with him. But this isn't it. Sauce Walker's list of feuds like, goes on. Sauce Walker really had me over here like, damn, yeah, bro, I'm low key scared. If he see Thug, he gonna really get the punching. He was gonna really get the punching. Alright? He, I think he was gonna really get the punching, fool. I think so. On and on. Sauce Walker versus 21 Savage. The feud life just never 21. ends with Sauce Walker. One of his recent victims was 21 Savage, who he dissed on his social media. But it wasn't Walker himself who started it this time. If you don't know, Walker had a diamond implanted in one of his cheeks a while back. Savage wasn't so thrilled about this huge achievement, though. He talked on Clubhouse during February this year inside his nightly room. How he thinks that the supposed $250,000 diamond on Walker his face is only a cubic zirconia. And of course, Waka was pissed. He took the insinuation that the diamond he'd just gotten was actually fake to heart and hopped onto Instagram immediately. He tagged Savage in a post where he Man, called him out for being hateful on nigga. online platforms. Waka was probably just surprised that he was being targeted like that out of the blue without having done anything. But what could have spiraled into an entire beef was stopped thanks to 21 Savage. When he saw that things were getting serious, he immediately got in contact with with Waka and let him know that he wasn't looking for any beef. Waka. Savage probably knew the consequences, if you know what I mean. When Waka then shared the post on his Instagram story, Savage posted screenshots of the entire conversation so fans could get a little more that context. Is, no In the conversation, game. Waka seemed to remind <laughs> Savage how he was wearing expensive things way before he knows it. Savage then told Waka how his diamond was really ugly and also trolled Lil Uzi for getting a diamond implanted on his forehead that was ugly. However, both men fortunately decided decided that they won't let this end their friendship and won't let the drama increase. Mm -hmm. However, friendship. Savage later deleted that post. While it's very possible that Savage didn't want any beef with Waka due to his ongoing deportation case, it's also possible that he simply wanted to avoid the wrath of Waka. Who wants to fight a man who's willing to go any distance just to defeat you anyway? Mm. Waka's history of absolutely crushing rappers has instilled Waka fear in other rappers' oh, hearts, damn. and it's completely normal for them to try to avoid being on bad terms with him. This is also why his clubhouse diss surprised people so much. Where did Savage get the audacity? However, the rapper seems to be more positive regarding what's about to happen. He also said on an episode of Big Facts that he'll take his money wherever they send him. He's not leaving his hard-earned money behind. He said he'll go to the United Kingdom and be like the rich people there. Sauce Walker versus Drake. Sauce Walker has this also had issues with food. Drake. Yes, we're talking... I'm thinking to myself, yo, why would anyone create a drum plugin? Look, whenever I, uh, this is when I first heard of fool when he started dissing Drake. I'm like, who the fuck is this nigga dissing Drake, nigga? Like, what the fuck? The first time I heard it was that I'm too legit to quit it. You know what I'm saying? Legit! But then I heard this nigga, like, when I really tapped in, like, this nigga diss, who the fuck is this nigga thinking he could just diss Drake? But then that motherfucker was hard. And then I was like, alright, Sauce is really like that, though. So.
talking about that Drake. He first expressed them when he took issue with how Drake handled the annual Houston Appreciation Weekend. He said that Drake was using Houston's culture without giving anything back to the city. He He's had a problem Vegas. with Drake doing nothing significant to show his appreciation to Houston's artists, even though Drake's aim was exactly that. Waka said that Drake hadn't collaborated even with a single artist from Houston, which sort of made his frustration seem legitimate. But regardless of whether Drake was actually using Houston for lyrical content, as Waka claimed, was true or not, Waka took his frustration full swing. He released a special diss track aimed at Drake, called Whack to Whack, which was oh a spin-off of Meek Mill's diss track, Back to Back. Speaking to Complex on the situation back in May of 2015, Waka claimed how Drake had lied to him and his mates after not having a too legit to quitted remix with them. He said, Drake took it upon himself to say he was going to get on the song, and he lied to us and let us down. Using Drake's instrumental for his track, Waka it. expresses how he thinks Drake is fake, and also hints how Drake might have contracted a possible STD from Star of Love and Hip Hop <laughs> Johnny fuck? Blaze. It took some time for Drake to respond to the diss. Uh, Johnny Blaze fucking... Johnny Blade got there swap possum with the mump stick. Fuck is you talking about? Nigga, fuck around. That nigga said that shit was worth it, nigga. I know that motherfucker was clapping like a round of a. That shit was probably clapping like a fucking standing ovation in an arena. You hear me? Not like just regular hood bitch clapping like. Hood bitch clap sound like you feel me? Like you got a few motherfuckers in the room clapping it up for you. But. Swap. <laughs> a, a swamp possum nigga. <laughs> With the mumps. <laughs> nigga that's. Nigga that's like. Uh, Madison Square Garden clapping. And nigga ain't no sh with that nigga. That's nigga everybody in the neighborhood finna know what's going down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm about to smack him. When he did, he made sure to come clean about the whole thing. But first, Drake decided to leave a bunch of sleeping emojis under Sauce's original post, the one he had made about Drake. Drake later addressed the issue at his final Houston show, where he said that he didn't care what any other rapper thinks about him and the things he does. He said that he's given back to the community more than he's ever taken from it. So there's no truth to any claims made by rappers like Waka. He also said that he simply wants to enjoy his art, and music is something that he loves dearly. That proves two things. Waka takes issue to every legit thing, like the yeah, time he had a problem with Meek Mill not giving him credit. And the second thing and is that Waka Walker also manages to little, take issue to things that aren't sensitive. legit. He seems to have a problem with a lot of things, and doesn't like it when things aren't going the exact way he wants them to. This proves to other rappers that if they're even involved with the king of the sauce and anything but well wishes, they're going to be responsible for anything that follows. He's a rapper that's widely feared for his behavior, and rappers Rappers try their best to avoid any hard feelings with the 31 year old. He set a track record that's neither straight nor friendly, so it's better for every rapper to just admit their mistakes and move on. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. No nigga don't even be doing songs with this nigga. He really wash him though. When they come to rapping, that nigga. That nigga tough. But anyway, babe, you fucking with me, I'm fucking with you. You don't fuck with me. You already know what it is. Like the video, nigga. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah.